Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. Welcome back to the forest. It's fall time in Carolina inside this beautiful forest. The most amazing things are happening during this time of season. It's more than just the leaves changing their colors to bright reds and oranges and yellows. But it's the actual falling of white pine needles. It spreads all over the place. It's like a blanket of white pine that smells so incredibly fresh. There's a sharp edge to the cool breeze that's on this 51 degree day. It kind of reminds you of, hey, look, this is not the end of a season inside this beautiful forest, but rather it's a place of new birth. Because as a human being, you see all of these changes taking place and it serves as an invitation to think a different way, to kind of drop things out of your own personal life. That's how this forest speaks to me and has always spoken to me. So when I walk through these trees, and I hope you can hear the wind in the background, because the birds are silent right now, and I think it's because they too are listening. The migrating birds have started to move in, and with them will come a lot of clutter. I mean, they like to make a lot of noises, and sometimes I think the screaming crows, they tend to want to holler back, but they don't know the language of a crow. We in this forest do, because we live with them every day. But everything seems so bright and brand new on a fall day when so many people have always said, well, everything is dying. Think of it differently. Inside this forest, fall is a new beginning. Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation.